course here, or the club, has been on this site for 63 years now. When they took over this site, it was basically open ground. There was a showground and feeding paddocks. We're almost the centre of Sydney uh, at Lidcombe here, where we're only five minutes from the Olympic Stadium. Our demographics, uh, people come from all over Sydney to, to play here now. We have a very high level of usage by our members and we do a very high number of rounds of golf here, uh, somewhere up towards 80,000 rounds. So it was um, becoming more and more, more and more of a problem each year with scarabs particularly and, and billbug. There are two main issues on fairways and green surrounds. Greens, we, we have outside of disease issues, uh, mainly stem weevil is, is a continuing problem and the usual cutworm and, and stuff like that at uh, certain times of the year. We've had quite a bit of primary damage, um, which is more evident in the roughs, but it's the secondary damage from birds that was our biggest issue, where we had a large number of crows turning up every day to feed and, and it looked like fairways had been rotary hoed. Every day we were having to go out there and spend two to three hours of raking up and top dressing and then come back later and, and re-turf these areas. So it, it was a real drain on resources. The last two seasons we've used a celebrant, being a lot safer to use uh, for us and, and being a high usage golf course, we don't get a lot of opportunity without golfers on the course. There's always golfers out there. It's only one application to get us through the whole summer. So again, it comes down to the time and, and labour that I've got available. And we've had very good results the last two summers, regardless of how much rain we've had or dry spells, we've got good coverage right through the whole season. You could see the exact line where we'd sprayed to on the edge of the fairway where we retained full coverage on the fairways and beyond that there were areas that were nearly back to bare, bare dirt. We've gone out in late, late last week of August, first week of September. Um, so it sort of covers you no matter what happens and we've been seeing nothing, no damage right through till the end of the, the growing season, the warm weather. Um, so we're, we're getting better than six months coverage out of it. We're um, listed as a bird sanctuary here. If I sprayed everything, we'd um, severely reduce the, the uh, food available to, to the resident birds here and, and others that pass through and feed. And that was certainly a, a big consideration, like I said, with the creek that runs through the middle of the course and, and feeds out into, into Parramatta River. We, we look at the safest option. There's absolutely no odour associated with it. And it fits in with our you know, environmental management that um, we pick the safest option we can. As soon as golfers see guys out there with with full spray suits and masks and everything on they start to ask questions and um, you know the alternative is shutting the course for the for a day. They're seeing that we're using something safe so they feel a whole lot better as well with what we're doing out here on the course. The water course, the wildlife, our staff and the golfers using the course. It was it was a big thing in going to that chemical. Since using the sulfur and the results I've seen, I've been very, very happy. All around it's like I said, less less hassle and less fuss to get it out on course. I can put it out at low volume, which speeds up my, my spraying process as well. And then um, yeah the results have been excellent.